And getting in a breaking news update from Bihar. This is in Patna where a bomb was lobbed at coaching centre uh, and there was a demand of 5 litres rupees that was also made. So this is big breaking news coming in from Patna wherein a bomb was lobbed at a coaching centre and we are being told that the reason according to initial details coming in is that there was a demand for free tuition behind this attack. Patna Coaching Institute, crew bomb attack, visuals of the same on your screens of how uh, an attack took place on a coaching center. We've also identified the number of people there present or on the screens for you. We've numbered those people out and you can see one of the attackers with a crude bomb in his hand. And yes, that's how a coaching center came under attack. And a rupee 5 lakh demand that was made, a free tuition demand that was made. Those are the reasons perhaps why this attack took place to begin with. Now a bomb has been lobbed at this coaching centre. Visuals of destruction and vandalism on your screens. Aditya joining us with more details. Aditya, a coaching centre at Patna coming under attack and complete lawlessness that has been witnessed if we go by these visuals very clearly. What more can we pick up from what we can see? Well, exactly. As far as the uh, uh, bombing of uh, coaching centre is concerned, of course, this is a horrific act by some local uh, miscreants and uh, we have been informed that some local Raja Yadav is uh, a suspect who has actually used his uh, accomplices to uh, carry out the, uh, this bombing here. And we have been told that it is related to getting free admissions for his accomplices and also a demand of rupees 5 lakh was being made by the accused person. Uh, failing which actually the in incident uh, had to be planned and executed by Raja Yadav and his uh, accomplices. All right, uh, so uh, the attacker has perhaps been identified. Are there any action that has been taken yet? Well, uh, uh, as far as the local police is concerned, they are conducting some simultaneous raids because bombing is something they, uh, they take it very seriously. But there's no significant progress has been made uh, by now. Hopefully, they'll be able to nab the accused person in, in maybe a couple of hours because the raids are still on and they are looking out at different places. So All right, a bomb lobbed at a coaching center. We can see visuals of destruction, vandalism coming in as far as this attack is concerned. What about the students there? What timings are we looking at, Aditya, if we go by, you know, the details of this attack? Is everyone safe and sound? All right, uh, seem to have lost that line with Aditya. We'll go across to him in just a bit. But yes, you can see some of the people there entering with sticks, stones and also a crude bomb while the agenda was to lob this particular bomb at the coaching center. Details that Aditya is sharing with us suggest that a demand was made of 5 lakh rupees. Also, free tuition be provided. That Those are some of the reasons that we've picked up so far. But extremely shocking visuals coming to light, viewers, and the state of lawlessness there for everyone to see. Questions will be raised. Answers will have to be given. A free tuition demand, reason behind the attack. This is extremely shocking uh, that a coaching center was attacked because there was a demand that was made to provide free tuition. That's the reason behind the attack and also demand of 5 lakh rupees that was made. Perhaps failing to do so is when this coaching center was targeted by these miscreants. Now, uh, my colleague Aditya tells us that the group, the gang has been identified, but no concrete action so far has been taken. And that's exactly why once again questions will be raised by the Bihar government on why the delay in action when all of these miscreants can be very, very clearly spotted in these visuals. If we go by the CCTV footages and look at how they're using sticks and stones to damage the property of this coaching center in Patna. Bomb 2 was lobbed at this very coaching centre and you can see how smoke is billowing out there. Uh, a CCTV angle certainly at this point in time wherein all these six people who while wearing masks can be seen entering the coaching centre premises. The one man wearing a green shirt can also be spotted with a bomb-like uh, uh, element in his hand and that's exactly where the entire suspicion gets proven of how these miscreants pre-planned this attack and only because free tuition perhaps was not provided when demanded 
We have a reaction coming in from the police officials as well. Listen in. कौन लोग थे इसकी पहचान हुआ सीसीटीवी में आपके द्वारा देखा गया कि राजा दादा नाम का लड़का है उसका नाम लोग पूरा पता उसका लेकिन डिटेल नहीं आया है लेकिन मोबाइल नंबर उसका मिला है मोबाइल नंबर से ट्रेस हो जाएगा कि उसका एड्रेस क्या है क्योंकि कैप लेने के बाद लेकिन राजा दादा वो उसके और सहयोगी हैं पांच पांच छह वो सब आया Aditya is back with us on the phone line. That was a police reaction, Aditya. They're trying to track the mobile phone of one of the accused, but no action has been taken so far. How close are the police to taking some concrete action in this case at the moment? Well, as far as concrete action in the incident of bombing at the coaching center is concerned, police has no concrete, uh, you can say, get through in it, but then they are conducting simultaneous raids and they have the mobile number which they have uh, put for uh, technical surveillance so that the location may be retrieved and uh, perhaps leading to the arrest. All right, so no arrests so far, but these are shocking visuals coming to light. And Aditya, these are CCTV visuals in which these miscreants can be clearly identified. Though they are wearing a mask, each of those five people who we've numbered in the uh, CCTV footage that we've accessed can very well be seen. Of course, they're wearing a mask. So the police does have ample of evidence to go ahead with some sort of concrete action on ground. Well, exactly. As far as uh, uh, incriminating evidence and uh, uh, critical data pertaining to breakthrough is concerned, they already have that data with them. And also they have photographs and video footages of the miscreants involved in the entire episode. But then they are yet to make a clear breakthrough because no arrest has been made by now. And that uh, it is something very important to note that uh, Bihar, uh, coaching centers of Bihar and Patna in particular have been in news for very wrong reasons for quite some time. They, uh, they, they were found involved in the RRB NTPC protests. They were uh, found involved in anti agnipat protests as well. So there have been uh, different angles to this story because the coaching centers in Bihar have been there in the news for wrong reasons. But then this is some other case where a bomb has been exploded by some local mistakes who were actually denied uh, cash uh, amount and also free admissions to the locals. <laughs> All right, no concrete action on ground so far. The police says they're trying to track the number of the miscreants of those involved and those who've been spotted in this CCTV footage. Let's see how that plays out, Aditya. We'll keep coming back to you for the moment. Quickly moving on to more news we're tracking. And